So this is going to be a quick video on how much you might expect to earn from your Alluvium land. I'm going to compare it to the 2021 Axie Infinity year. Now, some may say that it's not a fair comparison, and you might be right. There are a lot of things that are more for Alluvium, and there are a lot of things that would hinder Alluvium compared to that 2021 run for Axie Infinity. You know, one being that Axie Infinity was mobile, so more people were able to play it. But then what we're expecting in the future for Alluvium, we're expecting a much better game, an actual AAA game. But anyways, so let's look at this. This was an article from February 2022, and just said that Axie Infinity generated $1.3 billion in revenue the previous year. Now from the chart below, you can see that for half of that year, half of 2021, there was very little revenue coming in at all. And most of that 1.3 billion in revenue came in a three month period between you know July, August, and September of 2021. So even though Alluvium may not see spikes as big as this, I think Alluvium could be more you know consistent throughout a year. So we're gonna go with that 1.3 billion. So you see up here, I have 1.3 billion in place. I'm not even going to fool around with that. Now, if the game is generating 1.3 billion, uh, let's assume that that's 1.3 billion of in-game revenue. That means 5% of that is going to be distributed out to the landowners. So let's ignore this first chart here and we'll take a look at this. So 5% goes to the landowners. I broke down the land based on like the smallest unit of production. So basically when I say here, um, a circulating supply of 89,700, that means 89,700 worth of tier one production. You know, and I break that down a little bit more in this chart where you can see a tier one would have the multiplier of one. So about 12,000 of those tier two, is going to have a multiplier of four compared to that tier one. So with the 5,000 plots, we're looking at about 20,000 units. And then we keep going up tier three, having a, a 12x multiplier. So we can also expect that not every land is going to be played 100% optimally. So over here, I can put in the percentage of, of how much fuel production we're going to get out based on the possible production. So I'm keeping that around 75%. That may be high, that may be low, but um, just from what I've seen, I think that's a good number to work off of. So this 67,000 units here is based on that 75%. Circulating would be all of the units based on the first 20,000 from the initial land sale. Max supply being 100,000 plots of land, which is something that Alluvium will eventually hit, but there's no indication that there's going to be another land sale anytime soon. The team has actually said that they want to see the landowners for these original 20,000, you know, make a decent return on their investment before they start issuing new land out. So down here, the fun part of the video, this is how much you could expect to earn from your land if Alluvium was able to hit that 1.3 billion in revenue like Axie Infinity did back in 2021. So if you're holding a tier one land throughout the year, that could bring you about $228. If you have a tier two, you could be looking at more over $900. A tier three could be about $2,700. Tier four, $8,500. And even though the tier fives aren't out yet, you could be looking at close to $27,000 for that. And keep in mind, there's going to be more opportunities to get a return on your investment other than just the fuel sales. For Alluvium Zero, there are blueprints. Blueprints are going to be NFTs that you can find on these lands that can be used to create skins to sell to gamers in the overworld if they, you know, want that particular skin. I don't even calculate that into here because we have no clue on the demand or even the supply for these blueprints or skins that are created from it. But that's in addition to what you're seeing here. And these numbers are also just based on the fuel sales. If this upcoming bull run is anything like the previous one. We saw the land prices themselves for something like Axie Infinity, which had no utility, pump up crazy. So even though a tier one might generate you only $228 throughout that year, the value of the land could go from, you know, maybe around that $600, $700 right now to $2,000, $3,000, $4,000. But anyways, going off of this 1.3 billion, not necessarily a number I just picked up off the top of my head. There was history with Axie Infinity, but I'm just throwing this out there for fun. Let me know what your thoughts are on, you know, how much revenue Alluvium might be able to bring in over the next couple of years and what land you have and what ROI you're personally expecting to get out of it. But that's it. That's all I wanted to share with this video and I'll catch you in the next one.